Lane Bearden, the junior, ready to kick it. And we are underway. A short kick brought out to the 34-yard line. Wallace rolling. And throwing, man open, caught at the 30-yard line. It's Campbell, and he's down to the 26. From the Alabama 29. Wallace in trouble, steps through it. To the 25, and Wallace is across the 20, short of the first down. Tony Yelp, 8 of 18 this year, is long from 47, this from 36. Boy, he certainly got into that one, wow. and it's good. And Dan McCartney Cyclones wanted the ball, they got the ball, and they're on the board. And Alabama will start it on the ground. Galloway, out to midfield. Iowa State's defense, one of the better defenses out of the Big 12. Lane Bearden, the kick. Wagner will watch it land at the 10 and roll inside the 5. And Alabama will cover it at the 3. There's the speed on display. He's out across the 10 to the 11. Brooks Daniels, the sophomore linebacker, got him. And a good booming kick. Freddie Millens. It and is caught at the 35, spilled back to the 32. And from three and five to six and five, here's Alabama in a bowl game. Donnie Lowe, the cover of the uh, carry, he doesn't hold, carry the ball much. It normally has good hang time. This one pushed to the right. And they'll mark it at the 26-yard line. For some reason, this game in the last few years has been a very, very entertaining game. One of the better bowl games to watch. Wallace, there's the speed option. He's out across the 35 to the 37-yard line. He started his career at Oregon State and then transferred back to Sacramento City Junior College. And he's on the money there. Jack Whitver across midfield. His father-in-law lives up in Madison, Wisconsin. Scouted this kid in high school. Kept sending Dan tapes. Dan finally said, all right, I'll watch him. He did, and he's glad he did. Because this redshirt freshman is a field goal kicker and a punter. Has been fabulous this season and tonight. Thanks, Heather. They're backed up right now. Galloway across the 5, out to the 10, to the 11. That's all part of Coach Franz holding his program accountable. They need the discipline. They need to be taught and, where, and shown where to go and what to do. Second and short. They'll keep it on the ground. With Galloway, and it's a first down. Third down, five. Word on a blitz. McCadley the catch at the 27. It's enough for the first down for Alabama. Zow on the move. Caught from behind, dropped. Jordan Karstens, second time Iowa State, has brought down Zhao. He wanted to practice on this artificial grass, the Astro play, because Alabama had not been on it before. Wagner from his 34. And Wagner gets back to the 40. Texas A&M is 0-4 in bowl games since the, they joined the Big 12. Haywood, close to midfield, nine-yard pickup. Haywood again, this time to the 44-yard line. And that's what you like to see, guys that earn it from the bottom to the top. Wallace, that's a difficult throw, and he made it nicely. Craig Campbell, the catch at the 34-yard line. Hitting pressure on quarterback Andrew Zau, that's been key the defense of Iowa State. On the move, Wallace. A little end around. Danielson 
inside the 10 to the one. Oh. When you're going to run a play, as Reese Davis would say, trickeration, that's the way to execute it. No trickeration here, just straight ahead running with Joe Woodley, the fullback. He thinks he's in. Officials haven't signaled yet. He's in. Touchdown. And second and seven. Zow's throw over the middle. Caught at the 40 by Sam Collins. He said, we're going to give up first downs, but we just don't want to give up that 25, 30-yard play consistently against Alabama. Santonio San Beard to the 46-yard line. Little screen to Millens. Has the first down. And the playmaker for Alabama to the 38-yard line. Millens in motion. And they get it to him on a reverse. With a stop and start, and Millen slips outside. And that's why they want to get him the ball. And also, the option on the outside, they played the option very well against the Andrews. Millen's in motion, Zao will hit him. And he's got a blocker this time. Inside the 15 to the 14. Beard. Inside the 10 to the 8. Mark Timmons made the stop, the sophomore safety. Second and four. Option, Zao keeps it, touchdown. Flag down, maybe a late hit after the score. And Seneca Wallace back to work. Fires that one, a nice catch of the 36 yard line. For a first down for Iowa State. A line drive headed towards the sidelines, and again, a nice kick by this redshirt freshman. Let's check in with Heather Cox. Heather? Shreveport's one of the greatest cities that I've ever visited. They've, um, they have such enormous respect for this bowl and the, the loyalty and the support here in the community to the Independence Bowl. A good ball game so far with six and a half minutes left. First half. Andrew Zhao on the option. To the 21-yard line. And he's got another Alabama first down. On second to Nate Galloway to the 28-yard line. Zhao on the option. Close to the first down. Depending on where they mark it, he had to get to the 31. From the 31, Santonio San Beard. Uh, to the 37-yard line. Seven yards in the pickup. They just have to learn to become better finishers, but this is a young football team. Zao wants to throw it, tries to get it deep, and it's intercepted. Runk, his fifth pick of the season. And Barksdale Air Force Base has 900 deployed. And the B-52s, most of them come out of right here. Shreveport, Bossier City, Henwood bust loose! To the 34-yard line! Wallace, a quick drop, delivers a strike to Jack Whitver. And Whitver goes flying into the Alabama band. Oh, believe me, when I was 299 and a half, I was under 300. <laughs> Wallace, on the money again. Was it caught? It was. Lane Danielson, very close to the first down. Hit from 36, this from 25. Not going to do it. So I spent many Saturdays at thinking Alabama's going to keep it on the ground. Amai Galloway trying to run the clock out here in the second quarter as Iowa State has just missed a 25-yard field goal. Dan McCartney has to be happy with the way his team has played, though he was obviously displeased. They missed that opportunity, first for the seven points and then for the three points. 
trying to win back-to-back -back bowl games for the first time in Iowa State history. And the Cyclones will head to the locker room with a 10-7 halftime lead. Alabama gets the football. Zhao has gone the different, uh, the distance, and here's Galloway to the 27-yard line, a seven-yard pickup. So this could easily be a 17-7 or a 13-7 game. Zhao's pitch, and there's Beard, and there's your first down to the 33-yard line. There's Beard straight ahead across the 40 to the 42-yard line. That's an eight-yard pickup. And both of them will be back next year. Beard is sophomore, Galloway a junior. Second and short. It's Galloway across midfield to the 48-yard line. Seventh play of this drive. They've all been runs. And it's out of the air. Not quite. Dropped at the 46-yard line. Third sack. Matt Word. I like it. You're a lot like Gilmore in that one. <laughs> He's... He doesn't give those wide receivers much at all. At the eight, a sliding stop on the special teams. Jim Donnan will do Washington. Dick Tomey will do Texas. We'll have user email with Kirk and Lee. Out across the 25, out to the 31-yard line is Ennis Haywoods. On second and 11, Wallace is pressed out. And a man wide open, a nice leaping grab by Danielson, who fights across the 40 and has the first down, a 12-yard pickup. On third and 11, here comes a blitz. Wallace steps up and delivers on the money at midfield. Craig Campbell's got a first down into Alabama territory, 19 yards on the pickup. The Alabama 41. Wallace, now he's in trouble, and this time they get him. Jarrett Johnson. The first time they faced each other. Play clock running down. Wallace flushed out. A dangerous throw is caught at the 35. It's short of the first down. Jack Whitver made the catch. It'll be fourth down and about four. Wallace to the sidelines. Don't go for the bait on the screen. Get to the football and watch the front. Lane Bearden, Todd Miller at the 32. And Miller, a nice return out to the 44-yard line. With the ball on the move, they're on 44. Seneca Wallace going deep. Campbell flags down. They blitzed up front, which left their cornerbacks one-on-one -on -one down the field to play. There you go. Wallace on the move again. In traffic, Campbell comes away with it. 41 yards. He missed from 25. He's made from 36. And this one is good. Freddie Millen's in motion. Zhao delivers it to the big tight end, Terry Jones Jr. Low snap, Bearden gets it away. Todd Miller waits at the 20. Flag goes down, that was real close. Seneca Wallace and the Cyclones at their own 26-yard line. The draw to Ennis Haywood. And he is stopped at the 30-yard line. Third down and a long four. Haywood gets a block and the first down to the 42-yard line. They get 560 yards on the ground, 5.1 yards per carry. That's pressure. Play clock almost expired. Wallace steps up, pumps once, and has his man, Danielson, to the 40-yard line. 
On second and 11. Blitz is coming. Dump it to Haywood. To the 30, he's very close to the first down. Sometimes that's a good thing because basically when you can look a quarterback in an eye and the players in the eye and they tell you what they feel is going to be successful, I believe it. Third down short, Haywood has the first down to the 28-yard line. All right, an important field goal now for Tony Yelp. It would stretch it enough that Alabama would need two scores. And Yelp missed it. Option. And the pitch to Santonio Beard out to the 30. It's a gain of six. They want him to hold on to the ball. With Watts, they want it out of his hands. Four of eight on third down. Zao's throw is on the money. Millen's the catch at the 38. Sixth of the night for Lane Beard as he'll punt it away. And we'll watch the hang time. Not a lot of it. The fair catch signaled for and made by Todd Miller. Third down five. Wallace over the middle. It's caught by Mike Banks. The captain of this team, the tight end. His first catch of the night, and it's a big one. He's had a good night punting, though, averaging 47. Her kick is nailed. A couple, and this one is blocked. Alabama blocks the kick. They'll get it at the 29-yard line. On second and eight. Zao. Caught. Touchdown. <laughs> Terry Jones Jr., the big tight end. Flags down. Miller on the return out to the 25-yard line. On the return is a block in the back by the return team. Half the distance from the spot of the foul. First down. And Iowa State got 92 yards to go. They're going to get some of them on this carry by Haywood, who has the first down out to the 25-yard line. That's a 15-yard pickup. You better start keying on the clock, though, if you're Iowa State. Got all the time out. Just plenty of time. Okay. Wallace. Man, that's another difficult throw. Campbell makes the catch. <laughs> but I'm up in the booth. I can second guess him. Here's Wallace. Wallace going to throw it up deep for Danielson. Got it! Flag down! Two flags down! I think that may be against Danielson. I think you're right. Here comes second and 25. Wallace drills it. Went for the catch at midfield. 26 yards on the pickup. I'll tell you what, if you sit back against a quarterback like Seneca Wallace, it'll cost you. It looks like Alabama's cheating towards the line of scrimmage. Fourth and seven. Here it comes. Wallace over the middle. Caught. First down. Danielson with a catch. Good from 41 and 36, missed from 40 and 25. Plenty of foot, missed it! He missed it! And Alabama will take over and they can run the clock out. 38 seconds left in the Mainstay Independence Bowl. Alabama's going to take a knee. And this game is over. That last field goal by Tony Yelk of 47 yards. I'll tell you what. I don't know that you could miss a field goal by much more than that. It was awful place. 
Andrew Zhao is our Capital One player of the game. The big touchdown pass to Terry Jones Jr., the game winner. And Alabama back in a bowl will finish their season at seven and five. Dan McCartney and Iowa State also finishes at seven and five.